Lucio Lamborghini was born in 1916 in Italy and he was the founder of the company that we now know as Lamborghini. When Ferruccio Lamborghini grew up, he actually joined the Italian Air Force. He worked on machines, he was a mechanic. He quickly demonstrated his ability for working with machines. He was very good at working with machines. He quickly developed a reputation as a very proficient mechanic. He was kind of the go-to guy. You know, he kind of knew how to fix just about anything. Very resourceful in terms of being able to fix things with whatever he had around, you know, using odd parts or whatever. I mean, he could get it done. He was kind of a MacGyver in a way, if you think about it. Shortly after he got out of the Air Force, he started a motorcycle slash car repair shop, but this guy saw an opportunity later on and he jumped on it. He saw that there was a need for tractors. This is around the time of World War II, and there was a big need in Italy for tractors. So he jumped on this opportunity, just like many other very successful people, he seized this opportunity and started a very successful tractor business. A lot of people don't know that, that Lamborghini actually started out in a tractor business at one point in time, and they were very successful at it. But later on in life, he moved on to something bigger and better. He actually was very much into exotic cars, just like me. He had Maseratis, he had Ferraris, but he was never quite happy with these cars. They were just not quite good enough. And rumor has it that at some point in time, he had a disagreement with his neighbor, Mr. Enzo, and his Ferraris. Supposedly, he had some Ferrari 250 and there was some problem with the transmission or whatever. And I don't know, I wasn't there. Bottom line is, at some point in time, he said, you know what, I can make a better car than these guys. I can actually, whatever they can do, I can do it, and I can do it better. And you know what, I really like that attitude. That's kind of the attitude that I have about things. You see something, seize the moment, you go out there and you do it. So he said, I can probably build a better car than Ferrari and all these other guys. And he went out there and he put together a team of talented individuals. One of those individuals actually used to work on the Ferrari V12 engine. So it's kind of a little interesting history there that one of the people that helped build the first Lamborghinis actually came from Ferrari. And of course, Ferrari obviously was around before Lamborghini. So he, he put together his first car, the Lamborghini 350 GTV. And this car was a great success. He actually showcased this car in 1963 and it was a great success. And this was the first Lamborghini. Later on, he built a more powerful engine. He built a 400 horsepower engine and eventually the Meura. This is the legendary car with the gullwing doors and the head of its time design that everyone pretty much is on the same page as this is the car that built Lamborghini. This was a car that did so well, so ahead of its time. It just had such, uh, you know, people were just so much in love with this car, even today, that this car truly made Lamborghini what it is today. Thank you.